Hey, Jeremy Crow here. I just wanted to do a little uh, bonus video here. Um, the the most recent video I did was on the art of memory, and I gave a bunch of tips on how to improve your memory, including techniques as well as uh, just taking care of your brain, basically. Um, there was one tip that I wanted to give that I'd forgotten, ironically, to... Uh, to, that didn't make it into the to the video, so I wanted to do this little uh, supplementary video to give you that extra little tip there for uh, memory. Uh, so if you haven't seen that video, I definitely recommend it. It's called The Art of Memory, and it's on my channel. Um, so uh, the extra tip that I wanted to tell you about was um, interspersed um, repetition, basically uh, spaced repetition. So there's a, a specific name for it, um, but um, it, it doesn't matter what it's called. There's a, there's a couple different ways to describe it. Um, but basically, the idea is um, if, you, if you encounter something and then you don't encounter it again ever, it's not going to be as likely to enter into your long-term memory. Um, but if you if you are almost about to forget it and then you see it again or you encounter it again it reinforces that memory and you can do that several times so basically every time you're about to re uh, forget something if you re remind yourself of it then it really drives it into the long-term memory so the thing is um each time you can leave a longer and longer gap. So uh, there's actually apps that you can get. Like, um, you know, there's several apps you can get that will actually do this for you. So you just have to put in your list of uh, flashcards, usually it is, or, or something along those lines, um, whatever it is you're trying to memorize. So, and it will alert you it'll notify you when it's time to review it again so it has mathematically timed this out in in these apps uh, for the ideal time gaps that you'll have sometimes you have um, apps that will be teaching you a language and they'll utilize this technique within the app itself but you can also get apps that uh, that actually will do this for anything that you're trying to memorize. Um, there's one really popular one. Uh, I haven't really had a chance to use it, but um, there's one where people can share their decks of of digital flashcards, um, which sometimes even will come with uh, a sound file. So whatever you're trying to memorize, uh, review it. Then, say, maybe the next day, or even later in the same day, review it again. And then, each time, just give a little bit, you don't have to do it as often, but each time, give a little bit extra time, and then review it again after a little while. Um, you know, this is a good t tip for studying, you know. Um, if you go to class, if you're a student, go to class, and, and then at the end of the day, review the notes that you made for the class and then what you can do is you can write a summary of those notes and then the next day review the summary and then you can keep reviewing summaries but you know you don't have to review them as often you know as you go so by the time you get to the end of the course or the exam time you'll have reviewed these summaries, you'll have written these summaries, and you'll have reviewed them several times, and it will have been uh, implanted in your long-term memory by that point, and you'll be able to recall it a lot easier when it comes up on the exam. Um, that's just one application of it, but but yeah, spaced repetition, um, intermittent repetition, that is the, the bonus tip that I wanted to tell you about to as a, as a technique to improve your memory skills. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that, and I'll see you next time. Bye.